Hi, I'm Caitlin, and I'm the K in DLTK. Over the years, I've done lots of crafts and science projects with my mom, and today I'd like to share some with you. Today I'm going to show you how to make a tornado in a jar. My dad had a lot of fun playing with this, and I bet yours will too, so make sure you share a little. What you're going to need for this experiment is a clear glass jar or a plastic water bottle, but make sure it's not too lumpy. This one didn't work too well because it had so many ridges on the inside. You'll also need some water, enough to fill up the jar, and a little bit of dish soap. You only need one drop. Fill the jar up with water, add one drop of dish soap, and screw the lid on tightly. You might want to get your mom and dad to come check that you screwed the lid on tight enough. You don't want any messes in the kitchen. Now pick up your jar and spin it counterclockwise. Set it down and see what happens. Look, it's a tornado in a jar. How cool is that? You can try adding other things like food coloring or glitter to your jar. Or you could change the temperature of the water to be hot or cold and see what happens. Remember, this experiment will stay good for months, so you might want to keep it just so that you or your dad could play with it. We live in Canada, which is in the Northern Hemisphere, so when we do this experiment, we spin it counterclockwise. If you live in the Southern Hemisphere, you should spin it clockwise. This is because of the Coriolis effect. 